हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू टू द थर्ड सेशन ऑफ एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट डीब्रोग्लिस इक्वेशन एंड हाइसनबर्ग अनसर्टेनिटी प्रिंसिपल इन दिस सेशन लेट एस लर्न अबाउट हाइड्रोजन एटॉमिक स्पेक्ट्रा एंड नीड ऑफ ए न्यू अप्रोच टू एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एटॉमिक स्पेक्ट्रा इज डिफाइंड एज द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन एमिटेड और एब्जॉर्ब्ड बाय एन इलेक्ट्रॉन ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसिशंस बिटवीन डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल्स विद इन एन एटम नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन व्हेन एनर्जी इज सप्लाइड एन इलेक्ट्रॉन एब्जॉर्ब्स एनर्जी and gets excited from its ground state to higher energy levels the excited state is unstable so the electron returns to the ground state by emitting the absorbed energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation the wave number associated with the emission and absorption of photon is given by this rydberg equation that is 1 by lambda is equal to r to 1 by ni square minus 1 by nf square where ni and nf are initial and final state of the electron respectively r is rydberg constant and its value is 1.09677 into 10 power 7 meter inverse when hydrogen gas is strongly heated the molecules of hydrogen absorb energy and split up into atoms the atoms absorb further amount of energy and jump to various higher levels within a short interval of time they return to the ground state either directly or by jumping to the intermediate levels so this is the schematic representation of various transitions of electron that is possible in hydrogen atom so the various transitions can be grouped into five series the first one is lyman series all the transitions from higher energy levels that is from second third fourth and so on up to infinity to the first energy level that is n is equal to 1 gives lyman series these transitions involve the emission of photons corresponding to uv region the wave number of the emitted radiation is given by this equation so here ni is substituted by 1 and nf can take value 2 3 4 and so on the next one is bomber series all the transitions from higher energy levels to the level n is equal to 2 gives you the bomber series in the hydrogen spectrum the transitions involve emission of photons corresponding to visible region the wave number of the emitted radiation is given by this equation where n i is 2 and n f can take value from 3 4 and so on the third one is paschen series all the transitions from the higher energy levels to the third energy level that is n is equal to 3 gives paschen series and this transitions involve emission of photons corresponding to ir region 
and the wave number of the emitted radiation is given by this equation. The fourth one is bracket series. So the transitions from higher energy levels to the fourth energy level gives bracket series and the transitions involve emission of photons corresponding to IR region. The fifth one is fund series and it is formed due to the transition of electron from higher energy levels to the level n is equal to 5 and this involves the emission of photons corresponding to IR region. The frequencies of the spectral lines calculated using the equation obtained by Bohr's theory is in good agreement with the experimentally obtained values. So, this gave a very strong support to Bohr's theory of the hydrogen atom. But certain facts goes against Bohr's theory and that gave way for the need of new approach to atomic structure. Now let us see what are those. The main reasons for the failure of Bohr's model are the first one Bohr's model ignored the dual behavior of matter. It considered electron as a charged particle moving around the nucleus in a definite orbit. The wave nature of electron is not at all considered. And the next one is Heisenberg uncertainty principle ruled out the existence of definite orbit predicted by Bohr's theory. An orbit is a definite path and it can be defined only if both the position and velocity of the electron are known exactly at the same time. But this is not possible according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle. These shortcomings of Bohr's theory leads to the need of a new approach to the atomic structure which explain dual nature of matter and be consistent with Heisenberg uncertainty principle and the solution for this came with the emergence of quantum mechanics. So this completes the first chapter atomic structure. Thank you.